video is a new take on a video we made for the original Rene back in 2014. See the description for a link to the original. One of the powerful features of the Rene is the built-in quantizers, which allow you to keep notes of each channel's sequence locked to any key or chord you choose. If you're not clocking the channel, you can use fun.cv.add to quantize external control voltage. Another option is to use fun.cv.location for a sort of fake quantization. In this case, since you choose the value of each step, the quantization can be non-linear if you prefer. We can also change the route it takes through the locations by switching snake patterns on the snake page. It's normal to an offset, so when it's unpatched we can scan through locations by just turning the attenuator. Here's a linear cycle repeating through the pattern. Changing the curve of the math cycle to exponential means it speeds up as it goes higher. Logarithmic means it slows down as it goes higher. Adding a faster cycle to the math sum, we can get small movements around the base addressed value. I've multi-pasted this state to every location in this bank and set each one to a different snake pattern. Let's use the EOC gate to clock Zmod and choose a new pattern with each cycle. Using states to change snake patterns emphasizes the non-linearity of this ad hoc quantization. Of course, you could also use them to change keys, add glide on certain states, and much more. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Also, this can be done on multiple channels at once. The Cartesian channel responds to both X and Y CV inputs, but since it has only four values on each axis, as opposed to 16 locations in a snake pattern, it responds at one quarter the depth per axis. Here I'm continuing to address the XCV input with the sum, and I'm addressing the YCV input with the wogglebug, which is clocked by the X gate output. 